Okay guys, so I've fitted the um, new cam wheels, which are adjustable, which is these four screws in the center there. What I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna check where the timing is because obviously they're adjustable. I've just put them into a mid position, put them on with the standard settings and see where we are. So as per the earlier scenes in the video, I'm just gonna go and check the timing now and get these recorded. So let's do that quickly. Okay, so I've just done the um, measurements and you can see the intake is open at 15 degrees before top dead center. The inlet is closing 93 degrees after bottom dead center. The exhaust is opening at 58 degrees before bottom dead center and then closing 52 degrees after top dead center. The settings I'm hoping to get are similar to ones I've just put into the vertical. So I wanna move that to the inlet opening at 48 and a half, the inlet closing at 61, and the exhaust opening at 70. So how do we go about doing this? So the easiest way for me to do it is to turn the wheel through a normal cycle and put this to the position I want the valves to open at. I will then unlock the adjuster and then using the nut on it I will then turn the cam through to the point where I get one millimeter of lift via moving the actual cam not by moving the engine and that should hopefully bring us into a point where I can get the correct degree setting and then all I have to do is check that afterwards Unfortunately, I haven't got a tripod, as I said earlier, so I can't film me doing this. But what I'll do is I'll make that adjustment and then show you the result timing-wise afterwards. Okay, so I've made the adjustments. What I'm going to do is just show you where we're at. Right. What we'll do is we'll, um, so we're roughly at a degree lift there. I've got marginally parked, but you can just see it's just a, it's currently at about 47 and a half, but I know that to be 48 because. You can see I actually went past the zero marginally. Do as I'll just now take it through its cycle, and bring it back. So there's a zero again. And you can see we've got bang on 60 after bottom dead center. If we look down, the exhaust, take it through the compression cycle. Now we're onto the exhaust cycle, so we should soon see some movement. Here we go. So that's one degree of movement, and you can see that the inlet, uh, sorry, the exhaust is opening bang on 70 degrees. I've got to take that for a full cycle now. There we come back again. At zero. And we've got a perfect 44 degrees after top dead center. Okay, so what does that mean? Well, if we look at the um, exhaust first, we've got 70 plus 44 gives us our 114. 114 plus 180 gives us 294. We divide that 294 by 2. We get, sorry, I'm trying to do this one handed. Uh, 147, 147 minus the 44 degrees gives us 103 centre line, which is an improvement. So we have retarded our centre line for the exhaust by 2 degrees. On the intakes, so if let's do the um, horizontal, so 
Now I'll try and set this up so I can just write it without having to worry. I've got 48 plus the 60 equals 108. 108 plus the 180 equals 288, which gives us 144 when divided by 2. 144 minus the 48 equals 96 degree centre line. So I've advanced the centre line by 8 degrees and retarded the exhaust by 2 degrees. So effectively what we've done, retarded our exhausts, we're at 103 degrees centre line and we've advanced our intake, we're at 96 degrees centre line. You can go as extreme as 94 but I'm not going to do that because I'm only running steel con rods. So um, all I've got to do now, take all the timing gear off, put all of the covers back on and then park the engine to one side for now because we've um, got some prep to do to ready to get the frame all sorted which will be our next video. Um, effectively what I've got to do is put the swing arm together um, and then just a bit of work on the frame so it's starting to come together. Bit of a jumbled video, it's hard trying to do a video on time where there's mathematics involved and I haven't got a camera that's on a tripod so I've had to hold this in my hand the whole time which has been a bit disjointed so apologies for that. Hopefully you've got something out of it and able to um, understand what I've done. I, what I might do is on a, another video is do the timing again once I've got my tripod repaired but do it on a different engine so I can take a bit more time to go through that. Once again thank you for watching. If you like the video give us a like. If you've got any comments or questions chuck them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you're not subscribed please feel free to subscribe. We welcome the additional subscribers. Thanks for watching. Bye.